Wrap up the year with holiday cheer at the all-new Busch Gardens Christmas Celebration. Experience a winter wonderland as you walk through eight festive villages with twinkling lights, holiday decor, and entertainment. Busch Gardens Christmas Celebration is a limited capacity event. Select dates through January 3rd. Take advantage of the biggest sale of the year going on now through November 27th. Buy one two-park membership, get one half off during the Black Friday sale. Make your reservation today. Restrictions apply. This is Derek's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. After the third time jump-starting my car, I finally realized my battery was dying. So I stopped by O'Reilly to have it checked. They tested it right there in the parking lot. It was bad, real bad. But they helped me find the right battery for my car and even installed it for free. Now my car starts like new. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. This episode is sponsored by Schwann's.com. What are you having for dinner tonight? Hmm, good question. Schwann's Home Delivery has a solution for you. Stock up your freezer with high-quality frozen foods like premium meats and sides, delicious ready-made meals, ice cream, and more. No subscriptions, no memberships, just a friendly yellow truck that's been delivering food for almost 70 years. Listeners of this show get a special deal. Get 20% off your first order with code YUM20. Check out schwanns.com backslash yum for details. It's a beautiful uh, erotic and uh, sexual girl. I decided to eat her up. 10 Minute Murder contains depictions of actual crimes. What you are about to hear is real and violent in nature. Discretion is advised. This is 10 Minute Murder. Welcome to 10 Minute Murder, the brief and bingeable true crime podcast. Thanks for being here. I'm Joe, the host. And quick, before you do anything else, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, send me your ring size because... I'm going to ask you to marry me, probably. When you subscribe to 10 Minute Murder, you get the episodes as soon as they are released, no delay, and they automatically come to you, so you don't have to remember to find the show every single time. Plus, it's free. If you ever wanted to know how you can help support the podcast, there are three things. First, as I just mentioned, subscribe. And second, tell your friends that like true crime about the podcast, but be slick about it. Don't force it on them. Work it into a conversation like, hey, you know who else likes accidentally eating a whole pizza? Joe from the 10 Minute Murder Podcast. See how that works for you. And I forgot what the third thing was going to be because I started thinking about pizza. Sorry. And speaking of eating, if you're doing that right now, what a coincidence. The killer we're talking about today has a bit of an appetite. From an early age, Issei Sagawa had an impulse to eat human flesh. He wouldn't act on it for some time, but the urge grew until it was too much to stop. I'm sure you've heard of Kobe, the beef, not the basketball player. It's more expensive than normal and it's valued for its flavor, tenderness, and fatty, well-marbled texture. Kobe is also the name of the seventh largest city in Japan, and it's in this city, ironically, that Issei Sagawa was born. His parents were wealthy, and he lived a privileged life in Japan. He was born prematurely, able to fit in the palm of his father's hand, and his premature birth would cause some medical issues that physically and mentally lasted. Sagawa had an intestinal disease that required injections. Although he eventually recovered, his fragility and small size led to his extreme introversion and a deep interest in literature. In school, he performed well, but as young as the first grade, he noticed himself staring at a classmate's thigh, wondering what it would taste like. By the time Issei reached puberty, his desire to taste human flesh grew, but other freakish desires developed as well. He would sexually assault the family dog. At 24 years old, while getting his master's degree in literature at a Tokyo university, Sagawa spotted a tall German lady. He broke into her apartment while she was sleeping. His plan was to quickly and quietly slice off a part of her butt and sneak away with it. Once he got inside and close to her, she woke up, threw him to the floor, and called the police. Sagawa was caught and charged with attempted rape. 
he didn't dare tell the police what his actual purpose for breaking in was. His father paid a large settlement to the woman and the charges against him were dropped. A few years later, in 1977, Issei Sagawa moved to France to pursue a PhD in literature. While there, he later said, quote, almost every night I would bring a prostitute home and then try to shoot them, but for some reason my fingers froze and I couldn't pull the trigger. His trepidation to kill did eventually fade. On June 11, 1981, Sagawa, then 32, invited a classmate, Renee Hartfelt, a Dutch woman, to come to his apartment. He told her that they would have some dinner and work on a school assignment, translating some poetry together. He targeted Renee to kill and eat because she had characteristics that he felt he lacked, beauty and health. Sagawa considered himself weak, ugly, and small. He stood only four feet, nine inches. He said he wanted to eat her and absorb her energy. Renee was 25 years old and towered over him at five feet, 10 inches tall. After she arrived, she began reading poetry at a desk. Her back was facing Sagawa. While she faced away, he picked up his rifle, aimed and shot her in the neck. He fainted after the shock of shooting her. But when he awoke, he felt better and decided to carry out his plan. Issei Sagawa had sex with Renee's body, but his teeth weren't sharp enough to bite through her skin. He left the apartment and bought a butcher knife at a nearby store. When he got back, he cut pieces to eat. He consumed most of her breasts and face, both cooked and raw, while saving other parts in his refrigerator. At each eating stage, he paused to take pictures. When Sagawa ate as much as he wanted and had enough in storage, he needed to get rid of the rest of her. Using two suitcases, he carried the remaining body parts to a nearby lake. And this was in the days before suitcases had wheels. And remember, he's only 4'9", so he drew some attention to himself. He took a break from dragging the bags to the lake and sat on a bench nearby, accidentally falling asleep. When he woke up, he saw a man had partially unzipped one of the bags, realized what was inside, and started screaming. As the man ran off, Issei calmly stood up and walked away. French police found and arrested him not long later. His rich father came to the rescue again with his checkbook and provided a lawyer for his defense. After two years of being held and awaiting trial, Sagawa was found to be legally insane and unfit to stand trial by a French judge. He was ordered to be held indefinitely in a mental institution. While there, a Japanese author visited him, took notes on his story, and wrote a book about the murder he committed called In the Fog. It made him a bit of a celebrity, and the French authorities wanted him off their hands, so they deported him back to Japan. He was placed into a mental institution in Tokyo. The doctors there evaluated him and found him to be sane and decided that he was just sexually perverse and gave that as the sole motivation for murder. The legal process isn't foolproof, and especially when dealing with crimes in another country. So when Issei Sagawa was deported, France dropped the charges and sealed its records to facilitate this. But because of that, his lawyers argued that he could not be legally detained in Japan. So in August of 1986, five years after killing and eating a lady, he checked himself out of the hospital and walked away, free. Between 1986 and 1997, Sagawa was frequently invited to be a guest speaker and commentator on different programs. He has profited on authoring books of his murder of Renee Hartfelt and has also made a living writing restaurant reviews for a Japanese magazine. All of that work eventually dried up and he struggled to find employment. He was nearly hired at a French language school because the hiring manager is apparently a complete idiot and was impressed by his courage to use his real name. Once the other employees got wind of it, they protested and he was rejected. The stress his crimes caused his family forced his father to resign from his job and his mother attempted suicide. In 2005, Sagawa's parents died and he was prevented from attending their funeral. He moved into public housing depending on welfare benefits for a while. In an interview, he said that living as a known cannibal and murderer was a terrible punishment. 
In 2013, he was hospitalized from a cerebral infarction that permanently damaged his nervous system. He now lives alone, but needs daily assistance that he receives from his younger brother and says he regrets his obsession with eating human flesh. And by the way, Issei Sagawa continues to talk about and display behavior that shows the condition that drove him to commit his crime is not dormant. I'm not cured at all. But killing is out of question for me. I never want to try to, to do again. And that's today's 10-Minute Murder, the brief and bingeable true crime podcast. Now that I've ruined your appetite, let me apologize to you by allowing you to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah, I know it's super kind of me. Don't mention it. You can click the link in the show notes of this episode or just type 10-Minute Murder into the search bar and it'll pop right up. Obviously, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you for listening. Have a good night. With new 2 to 6 p.m. Sit Me Ups at Dunkin', you can add a little more perk to your p.m. for a lot less money. Now get a medium hot or iced latte or cappuccino for $2 or a medium hot or iced signature latte for $3. With creamy steamed milk and rich espresso, Dunkin' lattes and cappuccinos are a delicious way to recharge for round two or relax after a long day of business from the waist up video calls. New 2 and $3 lattes and cappuccinos from 2 to 6 p.m. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Exclusions apply. Limited time offer. This episode is sponsored by Schwann's.com. What are you having for dinner tonight? Hmm, good question. Schwann's Home Delivery has a solution for you. Stock up your freezer with high-quality frozen foods like premium meats and sides, delicious ready-made meals, ice cream, and more. No subscriptions, no memberships, just a friendly yellow truck that's been delivering food for almost 70 years. Listeners of this show get a special deal. Get 20% off your first order with code YUM20. Check out schwans.com backslash yum for details. Present you is burnt out at your current job, but future you works at Geico and future you is also a beekeeper. Me? I don't even go outside. Well, with Geico, you got a consistent schedule, so you are now one with nature, my friend. So I've become a bee person? Technically an apiarist. And yes, you also got a competitive salary, so you had the funds to start a new hobby. All right. Give me that honey. <laughs> Virginia Beach. Start your future at Geico. We're hiring claim sales and service agents. Apply online today at geico.job slash Virginia Beach. This episode is sponsored by Schwann's.com. What are you having for dinner tonight? Hmm, good question. Schwann's Home Delivery has a solution for you. Stock up your freezer with high-quality frozen foods like premium meats and sides, delicious ready-made meals, ice cream, and more. No subscriptions, no memberships, just a friendly yellow truck that's been delivering food for almost 70 years. Listeners of this show get a special deal. Get 20% off your first order with code YUM20. Check out schwans.com backslash yum for details. Let's say direct auto could make your auto insurance needs much simpler, like with friendly local agents who want to help you get insurance no matter what. Is that enough to get you to ask for a free quote? Or are you one of those people who need comedy to convince you? We could put in a laugh track. <laughs> or we just stick to having the friendliest, most helpful agents this side of the Mississippi. Or whichever side of the Mississippi fits you best. Call, click, or come by direct auto for a free quote and keep driving. Rate savings vary. Terms apply. How you buy can affect price by insurers from the National General Group, Winston & C.